Yo, what's up guys? So today I thought I would make an NFL teams list for like Madden franchise mode. You know how that goes. So, you know, I'm just going to rank the teams by like how good they would be in a franchise. This is based on like the quarterback especially because that's the most important position in football. Probably all of sports if we're going to be honest. And uh, yeah, we're just going to go through like the roster sort of and we're just going to kind of rank them from uh, D to S or, you, you know, like, we're just going to freaking do that. So, uh... Let's get started. So I'm just going to run down my list here. Let's see. So we got the Eagles here. Um, you know, quarterback's good. I mean, you could you could debate Wentz or not, but Wentz is a franchise quarterback. The linebackers are struggling. DBs are... Ugh, and the receivers need a little bit of help too, but I think you can uh, definitely say they're an A tier because they have, like, a ton of talent on the offensive line and uh, on the defensive line as well. So I, I could definitely see where you could rank them as as, as an A tier team. And I'm going to change these, obviously. But, um, you know, let's see. Uh, let's go with the Cowboys here. I think they're also... I don't know, man. Like, Dak is... Eh, I don't know, man. He's just confusing. Um... You know, they got, they get, their secondary is pretty bad. It's young. You know, it's a young defense as well. The receivers are amazing. Um, we'll go A as well. It, it's a tough one there. Uh, and then we got the Giants. I'm going to say, like, C. Just because, like, Daniel Jones, you know, that's going to be hard to develop him uh, somewhat. And uh, what else do they got? Like, their edge rush is terrible. <laughs> their safeties are all right. And the corners are just whatever you know i don't think don your bankers on the team anymore i don't i have no freaking idea man i i have absolutely no idea oh my god i'm opening up shit here i think this actually looks a little bit better so we'll do it like this let's see you guys so we got uh the football team now um you know i'm probably gonna do that with c as well you know they have like a nice young uh defense you know that's not not bad actually like you know jonathan allen deron Payne. you know you got some young dudes in there matt ionitis he's a cool He's a freaking good player as well, man. Like, it's a pretty solid team. The only question is Dwayne Haskins, obviously, and uh, and they're like I said, the receivers are they're all right, you know. Uh, McLaurin, I really like actually, but other than McLaurin, what do you have? You know, it's <laughs> it's not a lot going on. And then next up, we got like the Vikings here. Let's see where the fuck they're at. Uh, and they're gonna be, you know, dude. I'm probably gonna go. B, because they're not as bad as the, the, these two teams, but they just have Kirk Cousins, and that's just a awkward. He's like 32. It's just going to be awkward to roll with him. I, I wouldn't want to, personally. I just get a new quarterback, because uh, you can. It's easy to build a super team in Madden. Oh, my gosh. It is so freaking easy, man. Like, in two in a year or two, like you can have a really good-ass team, Like even starting with like the Jags. Um, but we know they're not a very good team anyway, so... Anyways, though, out of Packers, they're actually, you know what, man? I think I'm going to put them in S tier. Like, I was just looking at their roster, and it, it is just so good, man. Like, obviously, if you get, like, a, a wide receiver in this in this room, like, oh, my gosh, man. They're going to be a really solid freaking team, man. They really are. Um, it's, you know, they also could use another corner opposite Jair. Um, but, yeah, man, it's, it's, it's a pretty good team. It's a pretty solid team. Uh, and then the Bears, you know, if you get a quarterback, I think it's good. Uh, I wouldn't put them in, in C. I put them here. It's tough though, because it's not easy to get a quarterback. I'll put top of C tier. Ah, because these teams kind of have a quarterback. I guess you could roll with Trubisky. He's like 20. I don't know. I, I wouldn't want to personally. Uh, I think some of the ratings in Madden are way too high, and Trubisky is one of the ratings that is a little too high, in, in my opinion, obviously. But. Oh my gosh, man! But it's they have a good defense, obviously, um, and they could really use uh, their tight ends are they're interesting. I think the highest I saw was like sixty six, other than Jimmy Graham, who is, does not deserve a seventy eight overall. But you know, let's just forget EA did that. You know, I'm just whatever. <laughs> anyway, the Lions, man. Let's see. I think I'd put them in. Uh, and the B tier as well. They're kind of the, kind of the same with the Lions. You know, they have the QB who's good. Uh, I like Stafford more than Cousins, obviously. Actually, I like him quite a bit. He's a little underrated, I think. Um, I think after this season, the only you only have two receivers left on the roster, and I think one of them is Geronimo Allison. And <laughs> yeah, it's 
it's not good. So you're gonna have to resign some dudes as well, you know, and it's not gonna be great for that. But they could use hand. Deshaun Hand, I like him on the interior more than on the edge, but he can kind of play a little bit of both. I like him on the interior, like I said, but I don't know, man. As well as linebacker, you really don't have anyone there. It's not really that good at all. And the old line, you could use, I think, another tackle they need. So they, they really could use another guy there. And uh, this could be a long-ass video, guys. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. Um, anyway, the Saints, man. Let's see. I'm just going uh, by division here. We're going to have to go probably S because they're not, you know, <laughs> they're not with these tier. Honestly, you probably could put the Eagles and Cowboys down in B. Maybe I would. S is like really good, but they, they do have a really good team, man. Their offensive line is super good. Uh, it's probably the second best in the league. Maybe in the first best, depending on how you see the Colts, but... You know, Breeze is old. That's the only thing holding them back. I would rather take the Packers just because they have Jordan Love and Rodgers is going to be good for another three, three maybe four years in, in Madden anyway. Um, in, in real life, too. You know, he'll be good for a while. Um, I'd, I'd get rid of him sooner, though, just to use Love. But Breeze, he doesn't really have an heir apparent uh, in New Orleans. So, I don't know, man. But um, they do have, you know... They need a cornerback, too. Janoris Jenkins is uh, is getting a little bit older, and uh, they need a new linebacker. And Emmanuel Sanders is, what, like 33? And that's their second-best option at receiver. And Jerry Cook's getting a little older, too. So that's another thing to look at there. But Michael Thomas is a beast. Um, he does run slants all day, but that's fine. Don't worry about it. And he's a crybaby. Oh, whatever, though. Uh, anyway, the Bucks, uh, Obviously, Brady... Um, and all that. I think you could put them in A tier as well with the Cowboys and the and the Eagles. Um, maybe I I I think I'd put the Eagles. Uh, we'll go bottom. We'll we'll do it like this way too, as well as this way. I think the Eagles go at the bottom. Uh, I think the Bucks are better than the Cowboys, maybe talent wise. I, at least for Madden, this is just for Madden, not not based on real life, not that much at all. But I, I their secondary is so young. It has so much freaking potential, man. It could be one of the best, man. It really could be. You know, Sean Murphy Bunting, Jamal Dean, um, the Antoine Winfield. I love those three dudes. And, I, man, and uh, it's just awesome, man. It's just freaking amazing. Um, their O-lines, eh, you know, Tristan Wirfs is cool. I, I would get another tackle. I'll just get rid of Donovan Smith, ASAP if you could. Um, but, you know, other than that, man, it's, it's not a bad team at all. And they're... Yeah, and they could use another slot guy. I think they have Tyler Johnson, but, you know, I, I like him, but nah, I don't know. Anyway, the the Panthers here. Uh, obviously, quarterback and all that. I, I like them. I think they're definitely in C tier, though. Um, just because they don't really... Teddy Bridgewater is a little bit older. I, he's not a guy you develop a franchise around. But they do have a young defense, though, so maybe I would put them... It's kind of hard, man. I'm, I'm going to put them in D. Like I said, I can switch these guys around later. But it's just young. It's just a young team in general. And I, it's not a lot going on here in Carolina. But it is a, it's a kind of a fun team to rebuild. Probably one of my uh, one of my favorite teams to rebuild if I got a chance at it. Uh, anyway, the Falcons. Um, they do have a quarterback. Pretty good one. But this their 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 team and especially their secondary. Oh, it's terrible. I, it's very young. It's not very good. Mostly the corners because the safeties they have they have a, they have three of them who are pretty solid, you know. But young secondary. You know, Matt Ryan is is thirty five years old. You know, he's pretty freaking old. You know, he's not gonna last. You know, in, in a couple of years he's gonna be down in the overalls. I don't know how regression works in this year's Madden, but. If it's like any Madden's past, which it probably is, because they don't care about this freaking game mode anymore, then it's it's not going to be good. Uh, anyway, we'll keep the Falcons there. We'll see. I don't know though for sure. Um, the Rams. Let's see the Rams. Um, I definitely will put them in B. I like the top of B because you can develop Goff a little bit more than you can develop any of these guys here. Uh, the quarterback, like I said, is important. Or you could just get rid of Goff, but I. I probably would develop him, especially since he has been playing well this year, and his overall should go up. I think he should be like an 80, or maybe 79, but oh well. Uh, their old line's getting a little older. Whitworth is probably going to retire for this year. Uh, I don't know, though. <laughs> I don't freaking know. 
They could use another guy on the interior with uh, with Aaron Donald, and they could use a guy on the edge as well. Linebacker, you know, they need one of those. Like, they have nobody at linebacker. It's, it's kind of sad. Um, Kaiser and Kenny Young, but they're they're not doing anything. So, and then at cornerback, you need you could use another guy opposite Jalen Ramsey, and I think they'd be a, a really solid team. Uh, let's see here. So the Seahawks, um, I think definitely S tier. Um, it's kind of I, I would put them there because Russell Wilson is just you know Jordan Love's gonna take a lot of develop and all that. Breeze is gonna retire. You know Rogers is gonna retire soon, but Russ he's gonna be good for like five, six, maybe seven more years. Yeah, so he's you have your quarterback for your franchises, uh, and then what do they have like? No edge rush, really, like, at all. Like, there's nothing good going on there. And the, the interior defensive lines, whatever. The O-line sucks, as always. Yeah, but well, we know that. You know, Russ can scramble. Um, so, yeah, draft, like, a tackle or something, and the O-line will be a lot better. Uh, but it's a solid team. The secondary is pretty nice, um, especially Jamal Adams back there. He, he's a beast, man. But you don't have those first-round picks, so that would also – that also comes into account here. Um – somewhat so that it matters so uh anyway though the cardinals let's see man i think i'd put them in b tier i actually i actually have a lot of fun rebuilding the cardinals like and this is obviously my opinion but i i think overall i think the cardinals would be a fun one mostly because of kyler murray you know you have andy isabella who's fast as hell um Christian Kirk in the slot, and you have Hopkins on the outside. Like, it's so good. You, you have three receivers right there you can develop like, throughout your franchises. And then the tight end, you know, I think Max uh, Max Williams is there. Uh, he's he's all right. You know, he gets injured. Uh, all, all the franchises I played as Cardinals, I played, what, two last year? Uh, he stayed healthy the whole time in both of them. So, I don't know, man. He, and he, he was a pretty good target, too. So, uh, there you go. But uh, they have some... I want to say it's kind of a young defense. Isaiah Simmons is cool. You know, you can play him wherever you want to play him. Uh, s- strong safety, you know. Uh, <laughs> freaking linebacker. I'd play him at linebacker because I can use him, and that would be... Uh, trust me, I got a lot of interceptions when I did do that. But I like him at strong safety, too. Just in the box, you know. In a purple or a, or a light blue. That would be uh, pretty freaking ideal for Isaiah Simmons, man. Because he's, he's a monster. He's 6'4", that fast. It's You're not going to lose that much. But yeah, Cardinals, top of B, just because they're that fun, you know. Uh, yeah, they're, they're, they're Pat Pete and Chandler Jones are getting a little older, so we'll do that. And then the 49ers, man. They're going to be... They're going to be up here... Just... I'm going to put them in, in A tier. Because Dak has a little room to develop, as well as Wentz. It's tough, though. <laughs> but, yeah, the 49ers, man. Jimmy G, you know, he's not going to develop that much more. He's pretty much capped on his overall, which kind of hurts a little bit because you want your quarterback to be good, and he's he's good. I like him more than most people probably. Um, your receivers, you have a lot of nice ones there. Ayuk, you know, uh, I can't even think of their names. Pettis, um, you know, they're all pretty nice. So you could use all these guys. Um and then they also uh, need a new strong safety. I, think. I don't think Jaquiski Tart's that good at all. I, I think he should be like a 73 overall at most, dude. And he's like 28. So I'd get rid of him. But I don't know, man. He's I don't think he's very good at all. And, uh, and a cornerback, too, honestly. Just because Sherman's like... He's pretty slow. Yeah, that's all I'm going to say. And you also have uh, that one guy who played... Who, Emmanuel Mosley. He's pretty solid. He's like he got 92 speed. He's pretty fast, so... He can get the job done there, too. But, I don't know, man. Let's see. You got the uh, the Chargers up next, man. Uh, obviously, Herbert and all that. We'll put the Chargers... I like the Chargers in B. It's because of Herbert. You know, he's more potential than these guys, I think. I don't know. It's tough. But the Chargers have a better team in general, so they'd be more fun. Especially with that edge rush duo and Ingram and Bosa. That, that's a fun one. Uh, I didn't talk about that with this, but that, that's a very good duo as well. Uh, Ford and Armstead and Bosa as well here. That's that's a good freaking one. The O-line needs a lot of help. 
And you could use another linebacker with um, across from Kenneth Murray, or right next to, I should say, really. But, yeah, man, it's a good secondary as well. So, uh, And then the Chiefs, man. Um, you know, let's see here. Uh, let's see. It's, you know, honestly, they are that good, man. It's We have to give them, like, their own freaking tier, right? I, I just think so because, I, <laughs> I mean... They're just that freaking good, man. Honestly, I've ruined the thing here, but I just think the Chiefs are just the best team to rebuild. They're just they're so fun to do, man, and I don't know. They're just they're just fun, man. I <laughs> uh, I'm also gonna add the Ravens up there too. Like I I did two rebuilds with the Ravens in Madden 21, and they were just they were so fun. Like Lamar is so fun. You don't have to pay him for a while. And in Madden 20, I meant. Uh, but he's so... It's such a fun franchise. I I had so much fun in that, man. With <laughs> freaking Lamar. It was it was a really good time. I played like three seasons. And I usually only play like one, maybe two seasons in a franchise. Because I get bored after that. Because can you blame me? It's not that good of a freaking game mode. <laughs> but yeah, these two teams deserve to go up here. Um, yeah, man. I mean, you, you can't beat them. Like, they're just going to be the most fun to do. Uh, they're very good teams already, but, you know, Tyreek Hill, Lamar, Mahomes, like, you can't go wrong, all right? That's all I'm going to say. You can't go wrong. And I want to add another tier anyway. I like how I changed this as well. Uh, and then the uh, the Raiders, man, they're going to be, they're going to be in, they're going to be in C, bottom of D, bottom of B, I mean, sorry. They're just not a very good, a very good team to rebuild. And Derek Carr is kind of boring. Ruggs is cool. I admit that. Uh, maybe I'll move them a little up <laughs> because of Ruggs. Because Ruggs is really... He's going to be a lot of fun, man. He's going to be your Tyree kill, basically. And you can develop him. He's going to be a beast. Like, if, if you're not terrible at the game and you know how to develop players, just feed him and just win games. And Josh Jacobs is cool as well. I haven't talked a lot about running backs, but he's a, he's a cool dude, man. Um, you could use another corner as well, but... And then maybe another receiver with rugs, because eh, you really don't have anything else except him. <laughs> but, um, yeah, man. Next up, we got the Broncos, man. Let's see. I would probably put them in uh, in B tier, just because of Locke and everything. Um, he's a fun dude, but it's just like... You got to develop him, and it's going to be kind of hard to do. But you, if you can do it, there's your franchise quarterback. And honestly, I don't know if – I probably would, but you're going to have to pay lock in, in three seasons. So I don't know, man. I'd rather just draft a rookie, just play with him. I get that fifth-year option. I, that's what I would do, I, honestly. I I don't know, man. But I, it, it's confusing. But the old line needs some up. You need a new tackle in there. The interior of the defensive line is not very good. Could use another linebacker. Alexander Johnson and uh, what's his face are not going to get it done, <laughs> especially Madden because they're not very fast at all. And you can use another cornerback uh, opposite Bouye. Uh, I know Michael Ojemudia. I didn't. I don't know how good he is in Madden, but I don't know. Man, he's pretty solid in real life. So uh, anyway, the uh, the Steelers, man. Steelers. I like them in um in B tier as well. Just just because like. Big Ben's going to retire, but you have some really good receivers. You have Eric Ebron. The old line's getting older, but if you draft, like, a dude in the second round after you draft a quarterback on the O-line, and he's, he's a good player, obviously, in the second round, then you're going to be solid. You know, just get another uh, guard or tackle, and you should be okay. You know, it's you're going to be fine. <laughs> um, and then the, the Browns, man, they're going to be... They're going to be up here in A tier. I, I just think they're really fun to use. Uh, as well as, you know, you got Mayfield, who, who can develop not that hard at all. He's, what, like 25? He's going to develop into a good quarterback if you don't if you don't ruin him, you know. Um, <clears throat> you got – you could use another defensive tackle. Linebacker needs some help, but it, it's a good team, man. You got cool receivers as well. Austin, uh, the tight end, Hooper. Is, is cool as well. So, yeah, you're, you're set, man. The old line's pretty good, too. You got some young guys there. So, there you go, man. It's 
It's pretty good. It's pretty freaking good. And uh, the Bengals. Uh, Burrow really helps out with this. Uh, it's just like getting that young quarterback on that fifth-year option, it, it just helps me. So I'm going to move Cardinals up here too just because, man, I it just helps, man. That young quarterback who can develop, he's going to make your team just a lot better because he's that important. So I'm going to put the Bengals in A just because I, I think they're that fun to use. And Yeah, man, they're just – it's not even about fun. It's just about it's it's gonna be a good team to use because they're gonna be freaking good, man. With Burrow, like at least in Madden anyway. And then the Jaguars, man. We're gonna put them in uh, probably C. Uh, Minshew's cool. The whole thing's pretty awesome. I hope he can play well. Um, honestly, uh, he's just I don't know, man. In terms of Madden, he's not very good. He doesn't have a big arm, so and he's not very fast. But you can develop him, especially in the short game where he's really good. Like, almost like Peyton Manning, beginning of his career, good in a short game. Like, he's he's really good at that. Like, almost as good. Not as good, but like pretty freaking close. He's really good at that. Um, yeah, man. The tight end needs help. Like, you can use him on a tackle as well. Defensive interior line. Like, quarterbacks, say, like, it, you need a lot of help. But it's fun with uh, Minshew as well. Uh, it, it really can be. And then the Titans, man. I don't like freaking Ryan Tannehill that much. I'm going to put them here. I I, ugh, I don't know, man. It's, it's just not a very fun team to, to use and everything. I don't know, man. They're not fun. They're just boring. Um, it's just Tannehill's all right. You know, Henry's going to need a lot of money. Uh, you can find running backs anywhere who are good. It's it just... I don't know, man. They're not a very interesting team. and Also, I'm going to put them down there, mostly because of Tannehill. But other than that, I think they're pretty cool. But Actually, I put them in B because that's kind of unfair. <laughs> then Tannehill is, like, what, 32? So, And then the Texans, man. So they have uh, a, good, a great QB, like, really good one. Um, I'll put them A just, just because they, they are a fun one to use. They have a lot of young dudes. <laughs> I'm going to put them in B. It's just because they're receivers. I was about to say Hopkins is cool, but he's he's on this team now. Um, I'll put him in B. Just O-line's young. Aging defense. Eric Reed. I mean, not Eric Reed. Justin Reed's really good back there. But other than that, the defense is just getting old as hell. And you need, you need to do a lot of work on this team. But it's not terrible. So, anyway, the, uh, the Colts here, they have a great O-line. I want to put them in A. Just I, the old line's gonna help that young quarterback once you get them in here. Um, tight end, you have like three solid tight ends: Mo Ali Cox, um, that guy from the Bears who used to play for the Eagles, and then uh, Jack Doyle. So they they have some solid ass tight ends in here. And uh, like I said, the old line's really good, man. Philip Rivers is good as well. Like he's only gonna last like a year, maybe two years. I don't know, but I. I wouldn't go an off season without drafting or getting a new quarterback. You know, I, I seriously like he's not very good anyway, but he, he can get the job done. So, uh, and then the the edge, you know, Justin Houston is old. Kamoko Ture is injured all the time. You could use another edge rusher for sure, man. Uh, I think they probably have one on the team, but you probably could draft one and you'd be okay. And then cornerback needs quite a bit of help on this team, if we're going to be completely honest. And then, um, let's see here. The uh, Dolphins, man. The Dolphins need an offensive line. They have what's-his-face, so I'm going to put them in B. Uh, Tua, who can develop, you know. He's going to be an easy one to develop just because he's, he's just a good player, man. Uh, like I said, O-line needs a lot of help. Tight end's cool. Receivers are cool. You know, you, I would probably bring another one in. I don't love Parker. Parker's a little older. <clears throat> what is he like? 27, 28? Eh, you know, I Preston Williams is cool. Uh, but yeah, I would bring another receiver in here. Um, it's just not a very good team, man. <laughs> you know, you could use guys on the all over the defensive line. Honestly, you have no edge rush, no guys on the interior. Secondaries. I mean, the safeties. I mean, the corners. I mean, are pretty cool. Byron Jones, Xavier Howard, and uh, Noah Igmanogany. They're cool. Unfortunately, the safeties are not very cool. They're not very good at all. So, I would just draft some safeties, probably a safety, and then 
work on that offensive line, and you probably have a pretty good team here. Um, and probably get a slot guy in the third or fourth or whatever. But that's too realistic for Madden. That doesn't happen. In real life, it does, but whatever. And then the Pats, man. So they have Cam Newton, who, who's cool, but he's a little older. You know, he's one of those guys. Probably put him in, in them and... You know, they're not a very fun team to... Not very good, man. They're really not. They're going to go here. Like, Cam Newton's cool, but he's not going to last you a long time. He's not the long-term replacement. Neither is Jared Stidham. Maybe. I mean, dude, if you want to go through a, two seasons of Stidham missing half the passes he throws, go ahead. But I'm not going to try that, you know. You probably could develop him, but I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to tr even try it. Um, and wide receiver, you need some help. It's it's just kind of gross. I I don't want to talk about it. It's just kind of nasty. The old line, you know, Thune's franchise tagged. Uh, Marcus Cannon's older than dirt, you know. And Isaiah Wynn gets injured a lot. So you probably can draft, like, a tackle and you'd be okay. And I would re-sign Thune for sure. But if you can't, that would suck even more because you're down. The guy on the offensive line is one of the best guards in the league, you know. Um, you can use a guy on the defensive interior. The DBs are really good. So that, that's a good part about New England. They have some really good DBs. I think that gets them from uh, going into C tier here. Just the yeah, linebackers are just older. Jawan Bentley's not, he's like, yeah, he's big, but he's not just, he's not very fast. I mean, he's just kind of slow and Hightower's older. It's just not very, you can use an edge guy as well here. It's not a very great team, but, you know, in real life, they have Bill Belichick, so they're going to be great anyway, but I don't know, man. And then you got the Dolph, the Bills, sorry. Uh, they're going to be probably an, an A just because you have Josh Allen. It, it's a very fun team. The Ed Rush is getting a little older, but you have uh, what's-his-face in here, uh, young guy. Um, you know, safety is getting a little older as well, but they're still good. You know, the corners are cool. Probably could use another guy opposite, Tredavious White, if you don't want to rock out with the other guys. I always forget their names, but, you know, one out of, out of, uh, out of Alabama. Another, maybe another receiver, you know, with Diggs there. John Brown's cool, I guess. Um, Dawson Knox at tight end will get you, will get you going. And then O line's actually uh, pretty good. It's full of depth. Like you have a lot of good depth on the offensive line, but no one like elite there. You know, no one exceptional. Probably no one top five at their positions. But it's just a very solid offensive line. Like it's gonna be good. Uh, and then, you know, Allen's awesome, you know, like I said, but, and then anyway, the Jets, um, you know, I just, I, w I was looking at the Jets, and then I was like, you know, I don't think they're that bad of a team, you know, honestly, I don't think they're that bad at all, y you know, maybe it's, maybe it's because they're just bad in real life, so maybe they're not bad in Madden e either, but I was looking, man, only bright spots are... <laughs> The freaking linebackers and Sam Donald you can develop for sure, which is the biggest reason why I thought they wouldn't be that bad. But the Sam Darnold, Quentin Williams, and the linebackers is about the only good things about this team. Seriously, that that's literally where it ends. Uh, and maybe the uh, what's his face, the tackle out of uh, was it Arizona State. The, the, the guy, oh, Mekhi Becton, you know, other than that, it's pretty much a, this team's a goner, you know, <laughs> Jordan Jenkins maybe, but he's a little older and he needs money, so, ugh. anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed my tier list, it, I don't know how long this freaking took, but all I know is that I don't, I don't know, I, I really don't, but if you guys liked it, leave a freaking like, it would be nice, you know, this took me quite a while to make, just, Thinking about all the teams, you know, looking through all the rosters, taking notes and everything. Um, quite a few notes, Jesus Christ. Like, <laughs> three or four pages of this. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, like I said, leave a like. And uh, I'll see you guys later. See you guys later.